Next we have the Erase Set Tools. The Erase Set Tool is still pretty basic. The only upgrade part is that you can now adjust the size and shape of your eraser. To do this, go off to the left hand side of the screen and select the Eraser Tool. You can either erase into a solid image, or you can erase just the outline, which creates a closed in box or an open area. You can now change it to a square, which in the outline it will do the same effect. You can also adjust the size now. And that's the new features in the eraser tool. The knife set tools, you already have some of the options for the knife tool in the basic, but when you upgrade to designer edition, they add a few more accessories. So off to the left hand side, you'll see you have the same options as your erase tools. You can erase as a solid or as an outline. But now you have all of these options for your different cuts. You can do straight, poly will let you adjust and cut by points. And to get off of it, double click. You can do curved, which will adjust depending upon the angle you are cutting. Also, to exit out of it, double click. Or you can freehand. You can cut by triangles. Sawtooth, square, dovetail, serrated, serrated to, and wave. These are all similar to cutting with craft scissors. There are these different shapes. You can also auto apply so it will cut automatically, or you can deselect that and you can tell it when to cut. So if I want to make a wave, I can let go and I can then go in and adjust it to make it wider, more or less. I can also grab this red handle and make it taller or skinnier. Once it's where you like it, simply hit apply. The knife feature offers these to add extra waves, create doilies, create borders to your liking.